Welcome back to the racetrack collection guys today we're going to be spending some more money and expanding the collection because we need a little bit more than five cars for our customers so we're going to be spending a ton of money on a custom setup of cars called the all blacked out collection so what that means is the vehicles will be all black paint color all black rims and every single accent color on the vehicle will be blacked out so it's going to be a very sleek collection we're going to have at the dealership, and that's going to go indoors. It's going to be one of our finest collections we've ever built with the highest end of hypercars and supercars ever. So yeah, we're going to go straight over to the store today, customize some vehicles, drive them around the track, kind of see the differences between a supercar and a hypercar, because that's kind of what we're doing. We're upgrading from you know a normal supercar to a million plus dollar hypercar. So let's jump into the store and customize some cars. But before we do, guys, 95% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it so much if you did down below. Okay, we're going to go very expensive. So this is the Bugatti La Vorchinor, 1,600 horsepower. And these market value are $16.5 million. So we're going to buy one of these. We're starting out the collection strong with this vehicle. So let's purchase it there. It said 800,000, but real life, these things are almost $17 million. Now we're going to do another Ford GT. This is also considered a hypercar because it's a special edition vehicle. And we're going to go all blacked out with this one too. This one's got a couple different colors. It's more of a matte black, but we get it black out the rims too. Oh, that looks so cool. This is like a, you know, vehicle Batman would drive. So let's customize the rims. Yeah, I like the first option. Let's buy this. Moving on to the LaFerrari 2013. Now this one is a little bit older, but hypercars, they really don't age that much because they're so rare. So this is 960 horsepower. Top speed 217 and there we go interiors blacked out we're gonna add tint though too that makes it even look crazier oh my gosh this kind of looks like a brown but it is black probably under the sun so this, this is uh looking good i do have to say let's see rear add-on yep we're gonna add a spoiler of course 1.4 million i think these are about 5 million irl market value which is insane Okay, I ran out of hypercar, so we're switching back over to a supercar slash sports car, the Porsche GT3, and then this is not an RS. So, I mean, it's still cool, but the RSs are a lot better, but this one will do. It's actually $300,000 IRL, so kind of a good car. We've got some different paint options here. I think I want to go with the Super Midnight Edition Black. That looks sweet. We'll match the collection well. And to wrap it up, this is called the Pagani Hyura. Wait, nope. Waira. Ah, I got it, got it. All right, Pagani Waira. That's what they call this thing. I've messed it up maybe 30 times in the past videos, but I got it right this time. So, all right, it looks pretty sweet. We can do some glossier black rims. There we go. Cover platforms. That's the rooftop. And it's also see through. So it's like a sunroof, but you can switch it to different RAM options too. Check this out. Let's see which one looks the best. I kind of like the one that we just passed. This one, these are called the JTXs. Yeah, these are sweet. All right, let's buy these. We don't need a trailer hitch on the vehicle. That, that would actually be pretty funny. Look at that trailer hitch. All right, fine. We're going to do it just because, and we're going to attach a trailer to the back and see if we can tow the other cars. And that Y rut was $3.4 million. That's pretty crazy. So hopefully we don't damage towing it, but let's head on over to the shop. We're going to drive them around the racetrack and then pull them back into the showroom and then they'll be for sale. And here we are, guys. Oh, this looks so cool. The five blacked out vehicles, except this one, we couldn't really do an option. You're not allowed to change these. Bugatti rims, the manufacturer would sue you. So uh, yeah, I don't think we could really do that because it'd be changing, you know, the look and the appearance of the model. So let's not do that. And then we've got all the other cars. This is looking sweet, mainly hyper cars, but all right, we got to buy a trailer for the Waira. We're going to buy a 40 foot trailer and then uh, we're going to hook up to a, two vehicles on the back and tow it to the, the racetrack. And that'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's get a trailer here. Let's see, we can actually black out the rims on this too, because, you know, why not go with the theme? So this is uh, only 20000 the cheapest thing we're buying today, but it's a big Tex 22-footer, but I think this is the extended ramp deck, and it's about 40 feet overall, so that's nice. We can fit two full-size cars on here. Let's back up. Hopefully, the trailer hitch is low enough. I think it's actually a raised trailer hitch, so it should adjust for the height. It might sit a little bit low, though, so there we go. Let's go check it in the back. All right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is sitting low. Look at that. The supports are barely touching the ground. Okay. Well, let's see how this thing tows. It should be okay. Turning isn't bad. You can just about turn 90 degrees, but you know, not quite. There we go. Lower the ramps on the trailer. What cars are we going to risk for this? Let's take the cheapest cars because, you know, if we do have a mistake, you know, loading these things up or they fly off, then we lost the cheapest cars here. So, all right, let's back the Porsche on. This is one of the cheapest vehicles we bought today. Okay. Looks good. Keep going. Hopefully, 
hopefully the weight isn't too bad this is actually a light car too lighter than a turbo s so it should do a little bit better since it is a track car it'll help with the weight distribution on the trailer looks good the next cheapest is the 4 gt here fire it up get the wing going Ooh, that looks sweet hold on can we adjust those oh look at the turn indicators that's pretty cool i like how it's all integrated it's kind of sweet let's see what the front looks like okay that one's in the indicator too okay so it's all in one that's pretty sweet then you get your first set your daytimes or you know your nighttime runnings and then you got your high beams all right that's so cool and they look pretty good i do have to say they are awesome looking uh headlights okay let's back on the trailer here this might be a little crazy we're backing them on because you can see the ramp is just a little bit high in the air so it's kind of difficult to load them on front facing so here we go about a touch more back and good all right park brake perfect how are we doing back there? Okay, just enough space. And then we also got space for the ramp. So, all right, let's move out, boys. Awira is ready for towing mode. And look at that. Also, if you check it out, this is a step. There's no need for it. It's touching the ground. So good thing that thing folds up when we're trailering. But here we go. We're on the move. Oh, it's pulling it. Okay, I thought it was going to struggle. But I think this is a four-wheel drive vehicle because it's a track car. So it probably has got enough power. Well, it's definitely got enough power. Uh, where are we at, though? We took a wrong turn. Hold on. I was more worried about the weight distribution. We're probably breaking the suspension. You know, we're wearing it down. But uh, it's okay. It'll fix itself. And by fix itself, I mean I'll fix it. So, all right, let's get on the track. Let's see if this thing can go like 50 miles per hour. Any more than that, I don't think I want to test out. And then we're also going to test out the two vehicles on the back. Here we go. Hit it. Oh my gosh, this is actually doing good. Question is, how long until the thing starts turning on its own? You know, when it starts to get front wheels off the ground due to the weight. Uh, I just want to be careful with that. Look at the RPMs. Oh my gosh, it's quick. Oh, we spun out. Uh, we got the cars back there though. Okay, we're still good. Well, we found we can't go over 40 miles per hour or else this thing's gonna, you know, swivel all around. So let's head on back to the racetrack garage and get these things parked up. Uh, I don't want to cause any accidents here. Okay, we made it on back to the racetrack garage here with three vehicles so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to back the trailer up to the showroom door, making it easy to unload the vehicles here. And right about there looks good. Perfect. That was actually surprising. The Wyra did pretty good, I do have to say. So, all right, 4 GT is up first here. We were going to test it out, but I think you guys have seen this vehicle before. So we'll test out some of the other ones. So let's drive this one in the showroom. We're going to park them all the way in the corner here. We're going to angle them all to be kind of like a collection. So it's going to go the opposite way that those cars are going. So it'll be pretty cool. You'll see at the end there. So, all right, there we go. Next up is the Porsche GT3. Very nice. All right, fire it up. You got this cool light on the back. So this is like just the running light, the tail light, and then you got your brake lights, your reverse lights there. So it's pretty cool. All integrated system too. Interior is super clean. You got the suede seats. This one's an automatic because, you know, I don't know how to drive manual. So... Neither do any other people that come to test out these cars, rent them out sometimes. They don't really know how to drive a manual. So why buy one? It'd be kind of a waste. But all right, here we go. Collection vehicle number two is all here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and back the trailer up right here. We're just going to drive the other two vehicles back. We don't need the trailer for that. But the trailer is going to be actually parked undercover. This is the first time we've parked a trailer like undercover and not left it outside. So this is pretty surprising. But there we go. Trailer is parked right here. Perfect. And then we're going to take this one in the showroom to park up next to the other vehicles there. Look at that. The showroom doors, they open like a grocery store. It's kind of cool. But it's a grocery store for super supercars and hypercars that's the difference all right there we go let's park this bad boy up looks good check it out it's already looking pretty sweet and then also check out the floor tiles it kind of blends in with the theme we're going with here if you guys haven't seen this we got the front desk here the service department in the back service uh writer's desk so you know they write up all the issues and stuff and then over here we got vending machine and then this is the door that you know the trailer's parked under so kind of sweet setup we got let's head on back we got two more vehicles to uh, actually we're gonna test those ones out and drive them on back First one, La Ferrari. Oh my gosh, this one's got a custom Novatech exhaust. It sounds amazing, and here we go. Let's rip it, boys. The two most expensive cars that we purchased today. We're gonna be racing on the track, so that was definitely a smart idea here. But all right, uh, let's go left. We usually go right, but it doesn't matter. No one else is on the track. I didn't hit the wall. I promise it's okay. Oh, okay. This one's a little bit crazy. I think we need to warm up the tires. Do some, you know slow laps here and then once the tires are warm it's got better traction i think because the heat expands the tires or something or it contracts one of the two causing the tires to have better traction so we'll give it a few minutes here and then we'll start opening it up like 150 mile per hours and you know the high speeds there but check out the garage as we go around that corner it's kind of sweet to have it up on the hillside there all right i think they're warm enough here we go we're hitting it straight away we're doing 175 already that was more than we thought but all right break 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 there we go 
Also on the steering wheel, you see those green lights. They kind of light up and then they, you know, unactivate, I guess. Uh, those lights are to let you know when you're able to shift. And also, if you're shifting too early, it's kind of like an indicator. So you'll see it'll go red and it'll reset into the next gear. There we go. Just like that. So it's kind of cool. Nice little feature. So, you know, you're not going to break the transmission and the gears on your vehicle here. Oh, all right. There we go. Let's hit it. This is a good straightaway. 170. Can we get 180? 180. There we go. We hit 181. All right. I saw it. This is going pretty good. I like this. Okay, let's pull a U-turn. We've had enough fun with the Ferrari, but the Bugatti, that's 1,400 horsepower. That's going to be the real test of a vehicle here because that's the highest horsepower vehicle, I think, currently that we have available, which is, uh, you know, it would be pretty crazy. People cannot test drive those either. They can't rent them out. I don't think they can rent out the Ferrari, but the cars that we already took back, the Porsche, the Ford, and not the Bugatti, but those two vehicles, those, those first two, we can definitely rent those out to people because we can get them insured on track insurance on that. So these ones, they uh, you have to buy them and then you can drive them on the track. But for us to just rent out, it's not really possible. I mean, we could, but it would have to be like, you know, $15,000 for three laps just to kind of have some coverage because the insurance will be so high. But all right, we're back. Let's pull back into the dealership here and get this thing lined up with the rest of the cars. All right, boys, we're back. Let's pull this one in the showroom. I'm so excited to look like an actual dealership here with all the vehicles lined up in the showroom. This is so cool. Okay, we're going to park this one right next to the Wyra. It's going to go like most expensive to least expensive. Well, we would have to flip the Porsche and the Ford around, but it, you get the point. The Wyra, the Ferrari, and the Bugatti next to each other, you, you don't really see that every day. So, all right, uh, we got a pole in the front. We don't want to hit that with the front. All right, look at that. Okay, open up the doors. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. This thing's like a spaceship. We can open up the engine compartment. Let it kind of air out. We were running some hot laps back there. So, all right. Looks good. Can we open up the doors? Yeah, on this one too. Uh, Yeah, I don't want to do that. It actually will hit the Porsche. So, okay, we can't do that vehicle. And yeah, all right. Let's go pick up the Bugatti, but we can open that door. Look at that. This thing's like a spaceship now. Very cool. All right, on to the Bugatti. The last and final vehicle. We've got six exhaust pipes because, you know, we have 1,500 horsepower. That's a lot of power. So here we go. Let's rip it, boys. We're not ready yet. Like I said, we got to warm up the tires on this car as well before we get rolling. Check it out. The light up Bugatti sign on the back. This thing is so futuristic, but it's actually three years old already, which is insane for a three-year-old car to look this cool. You know, it looks like a futuristic hyper car, but it's looking good. Interior suite. It's all lit up like blue. It's almost like a spaceship, if I do have to say. So all right, let's see what this thing can do. We're going to go around the other way of the racetrack and see if it makes a difference. As you can see, all these little patches we did, we fixed the racetrack a little bit. And now what we got to do is we got to come back in with a new fresh layer of asphalt, and it'll make it look super nice, and it'll be super smooth to race around the track. You got to do that about every other year, and we're doing it again, which costs us like $13 million or something. It's definitely not cheap, but a racetrack is like five miles long. So, you know, it's expensive. I can see the dealership over there, EXP Customs, check it out. Racing around every corner, you can see that giant sign on the building, which was pretty cool for the addition here. But all right, I'll meet you guys back at the dealership to get the last vehicle lined up, and then we'll see what it all looks like for the all blacked out collection all lined up. Okay, here we are. We're pulling in with the final vehicle. This is pretty sweet. I've never had this type of collection before, but my favorite color combo is the black paint with the black rims because it blends in so good and it also goes undetected. I mean, you can just cruise through the streets. You're like Batman. So, all right, here we go. Let's uh, let's get this lined up correctly. Not too close to the other vehicles in case we got to get, you know, one out. Oh, look at that. They're all lined up, boys. Oh my gosh, this looks sweet in the showroom too. We got the nice showroom lights. If you didn't know showroom lights, they reflect a certain way so that, you know, you get the shiny paint color to make them look cool. I mean, check out all the paints on this. So, all right, guys, we are done with the collection. If you want to see us come back and do rentals and do sales and do other stuff at the Racetrack Garage, make sure to drop a thumbs up down below and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.